name is Mrs Cornwell and I work for Barnsley Music Service. I am one of a group of people who play and teach woodwind instruments. Let's meet the team. You may have seen some of them around your school. We come into school on a weekly basis during term time delivering woodwind lessons to students just like you. Let's see what you could learn. The recorder. Some of you may have one of these instruments lying around at home. The recorder is a great instrument to start your musical journey on and anyone from the age of six upwards can learn it. Did you know that recorders used to be made from ivory, bone and wood before going plastic in the 1960s? The recorder doesn't have a very good reputation for being a cool instrument to play, but there are a long list of artistic geniuses from William Shakespeare to the Beatles that turned to the recorder for inspiration. King Henry VIII collected them, all 76. Let's have a listen to the recorder. The flute. The flute was one of the first instruments invented and it's been around over 35,000 years. The flute is basically a piece of tubing with holes in it. When you blow across the mouthpiece, the air inside the tubing vibrates to make the sound. Covering the holes changes the pitch of the sound. We hold the flute to the side, unlike all the other woodwind instruments. A man named Theobald Bohm helped create the modern flute as we know it today. Covering the holes and creating more notes. Over three octaves, that's over 39 notes. Early flutes were also made from bone and ivory and wood, but now they can be made from precious metals like silver, gold and even platinum. And did you know the flute requires more air to play it than any other instrument, even the big brass instrument called a tuba? Let's have a listen. Now for 
two very different woodwind instruments that you might not have seen around much. The first is the oboe. The oboe is also made from wood and metal like the clarinet, but what makes the oboe different is the reed. The oboe uses a double reed which consists of two pieces of flattened bamboo bound together with cotton. When played, the two pieces of bamboo vibrate together to produce the sound. Did you know the fastest oboe player in the world, Jack Cozen Haral, can play Rimsky Korsakov's Flight of the Bumblebee in just 26.1 seconds and is in the World Guinness Book of Records? That's 15 notes per second. Here's the oboe playing part of the famous tune Gabriel's Oboe, which was used in the film The Mission. just your thumbs. The left thumb plays nine keys and the right thumb plays five keys. The bassoon can mainly be found playing in orchestras and concert bands. Let's have a little listen. then they can make a note of your name and the instrument you would like to play. You need to go home, talk to your parent or guardian because learning an instrument will cost money. The information on how much lessons cost is available at the school office. If your parent and guardian say yes to learning an instrument, you need to get a pink consent form from the office. Take this form home to be filled in and signed by your parent or guardian. Once you have brought the form back to the office, one of our music staff will be along to start you on your magical musical journey. Before I go, here's just a couple of reminders. Anyone age six and above can learn the recorder. Anyone seven and above can learn the flute. The clarinet is age seven and above, but you do need to have your adult top two teeth so that you can hold the clarinet in your mouth correctly. The saxophone also requires you to have your top two teeth, but it is only on offer to people age nine and above because you do need to be quite tall and have large hands so that you can reach the keys. The oboe and the bassoon are double reed instruments, which means they are quite tricky to play at first. And you also need to be in key stage two, age eight and above. Learning a musical instrument is a wonderful lifelong skill. And we can't wait to meet you.